In this video, we'll look at 17 actors currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. 17. Ryan Grantham In March of 2020, Riverdale's Ryan Grantham exploded into the news after a stunning murder. Ryan had shot his own mother while she was playing the piano and then confessed to the murder in a recorded video. After this, Ryan planned to assassinate the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, but instead decided to carry out a mass shooting. Thankfully, Ryan didn't go through with either of those plans, but instead he turned himself into the police. Ryan was charged with second-degree murder, and during his trial, his lawyers argued that the then 21-year-old was mentally unwell. The jury didn't let Ryan off the hook because of this, though, and instead he was given a lifetime jail sentence. The judge did open the door for earlier parole, however, and ruled that Ryan could seek out parole after 14 years in jail. Regardless of this, Ryan will be staying behind bars for many years. Be sure to stick to the end to see the former Subway spokesperson Coombe actor who is behind bars for requesting questionable webcam footage involving minors. If you thought that Ryan story was crazy, wait till you hear this next one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more shocking prison videos. 16. Michael Jace In May of 2014, Michael called the police saying, I shot my wife. According to witness reports, Michael's wife was planning on divorcing him, and he responded by shooting her. While Michael claims he only wanted to injure her, the gunshots were ultimately fatal. Police arrived to find Michael's wife lying on the ground and arrested him for murder after he confessed to the crime on the spot. Michael was charged with second-degree murder, and the court trial didn't go very well for him at all. Michael's own son testified against him, claiming that Michael said, if you love running so much, then go run to heaven. Michael pleaded not guilty in court, but the jury wasn't buying it. In June of 2016, he was found guilty on all charges and received a 40 years to life prison sentence, unlike the actress coming up, who is on death row. Michael remains in jail as of today and won't be getting out for a long time, if ever. 15. Allison Mack When Smallville's Allison Mack ran a multi-level marketing company known as Nexium for business coaching, the organization had a secret group on the side. This group was called DOS, which stood for Dominus Obsequious Sororium, and the main function of this secret group was trafficking young women. Allison used her career to publicly support empowerment of female actors, but behind the scenes, she built a sex trafficking empire with numerous dark agents under her control. Allison's secret organization fell apart in April of 2018, when she was arrested by the FBI for trafficking and other charges. The FBI claimed that Allison forced young women into performing inappropriate and questionable acts, and that she profited from them as a result. Allison made $5 million in bail, but it seemed like she would be going away for a long time. Allison cooperated with the authorities, however, and due to her help, many of the ringleaders of DOS were brought to justice. Allison was credited by the U.S. Attorney General for providing helpful information to lead to many arrests, and as a result, she received a lighter sentence than many expected. In the end, Allison got a three-year prison sentence, $20,000 in fines, and $1,000 of community service. 14. Kaylin Walker in September of 2018, Kalen, who played in the 2018 remastering of the 70s film Superfly, was arrested for assault. Four models reported that they had been messaged by the actor and he had offered them opportunities for work. Instead, he allegedly got the women alone and did questionable things to them. Kalen received nine charges of felony assault as a result of this, and his trial was scheduled for later that same year. Kalen managed to make bail at $1 million, but he would be arrested a year later when several new victims came forward and joined in on the case. Kalen again paid bail, but the trial wouldn't go very well for him. The jury found Kalen guilty of the charges and gave him a 50 years to life prison sentence. The judge also ordered Kalen to register as a sex offender, and he will have that black mark on his record for the rest of his life. 
13, Skylar DeLeon. Skylar and her wife turned to crime in 2002, but their most heinous crime took place two years later. Skylar, her wife, and a few other accomplices decided to rob a couple who were selling their yacht. The group attacked the couple, tied them up, and threw them into the ocean. They then stole the yacht, and the bodies of that couple were never recovered. For many years afterwards, it seemed like Skylar would get away with this awful crime. However, one of the accomplices confessed years after the act, and this began a trial that would have a shocking conclusion. Skylar was sentenced with three counts of first-degree murder, and that came with an automatic life sentence. However, the severe nature of the crime was so overwhelming that the judge also decided to sentence Skylar to the death penalty in 2009. This shocking sentence wouldn't be carried, though, because Skylar was in California where the penalty was blocked by a statewide moratorium. Nevertheless, Skylar remained behind bars for years to come. Since 2009, Skylar has also changed her gender from male to female and has added the name Preciosa to her name. 12. Amy Locaine In June of 2010, Amy was part of a fatal car crash that changed her life forever. Amy was driving nearly 15 miles over the speed limit late at night, and she was drunk, too. All of this meant that when Fred Seaman made a left turn to enter his driveway, Amy crashed right into his car. Fred survived the crash, but his wife Helen wasn't so lucky. Following the crash, the police arrived and tested Amy's blood alcohol levels. They found that she had nearly three times the legal minimum of blood alcohol for driving and arrested her as a result. Amy faced an indictment for aggravated manslaughter, as well as a charge of assault by automobile. In 2012, a jury convicted her of these charges, and she was given a three-year prison sentence. Amy was released in 2015, but the story was far from over. In 2016, a New Jersey court ruled that the case should be re-examined because they felt the initial verdict was too lenient on Amy. Amy was re-sentenced as a result in 2019 and got five years of additional jail time. Amy made bail after this verdict and was free while pending her appeal of the decision. The appeal didn't go well for Amy, though, and in the end, in September of 2020, she was sentenced to eight years in prison, just like her fellow actress behind bars for assaulting a minor later on in this video. Amy remains in prison at the moment and will need to wait at least six years to be eligible for parole. 11. Harvey Weinstein Harvey's power in Hollywood was enormous, and it seemed like his career could only continue to thrive. Everything would fall apart for him in 2017, though, and the house of cards that came tumbling after would bring down many other Hollywood icons. In October of 2017, numerous allegations of misconduct and abuse surfaced against Harvey. Many people had terrible stories about Harvey using his position for questionable favors. For many years, though, Harvey had apparently used his network of friends to keep the stories under wraps. Everything came out in 2017, though, when the New York Post and the New York Times released a story about several women claiming Harvey abused, assaulted, or even forced himself onto them non-consensually. Following this initial story, many more women came forward with their Harvey Weinstein horror stories. The public backlash against Harvey was overwhelming, and the criminal charges that followed would put him away for longer than you would ever believe. Harvey was charged by the New York District Attorney's Office with rape, abuse, misconduct, and criminal sexual acts in May of 2018. That very same day, Harvey surrendered himself to the police. While he made bail at a whopping $1 million, the trial a year later wouldn't go so well for Harvey. He was found guilty on only two of the five main charges, but even those two were still enough to land him a 23-year prison sentence. Harvey's lawyers promised to challenge the verdict, but the appeal would ultimately fail in June of 2022. Harvey remains in jail and currently faces an additional trial for more charges that began in October of 2022. 10. Joseph Sun in May of 2008, Sun was convicted for the first time when he was given 60 days of jail time for felony vandalism. 
he decided to take a plea agreement following this arrest, and one requirement was that he must provide his DNA to the authorities. Joe's DNA linked him to another crime. It turns out he was involved in a gang that forced themselves onto a lady in 1990, and he was arrested for it in October of 2008. Joe was placed on trial for the act, and things came tumbling down for him from there. The victim testified against Joe, confirming that he was responsible, and it looked like Joe would be facing life in prison. The charges were dropped, but not for the reason you might think. While Joe was seen as guilty by many in the court, the crime he was charged with had a statute of limitations. Since the act took place in the 90s, the statute of limitations expired by 2011, and Joe was off the hook for it. However, he was still charged with conspiracy to commit murder and torture, a crime that didn't have a statute of limitations. Joe was found guilty and was sent to the slammer for 17 good years. While there, he did another heinous act that led to another two decades of jail time. While in prison, he got into a serious altercation with his cellmate Michael Graham, who was serving a two-year sentence for not registering as a sex offender. The altercation was fatal for Michael. Joe was placed into solitary confinement after the incident took place and would later be charged with murder as a result. Joe was found guilty in 2017, and that added another 27 years to his sentence. 9. Josh Duggar Josh Duggar is known for a single major TV show, and during his time on that show, he hid several awful secrets. As a member of the reality TV show 19 Kids and Counting, Josh presented himself as an ordinary family man. Unfortunately, the truth was much darker and would come out in a sudden arrest. While Josh had been rumored to have a secret past of sexual misconduct towards minors, no arrests have ever been made against him for many years. That changed in 2021, when law enforcement learned that Josh was in possession of substantial amounts of lewd material involving minors. This was enough to warrant his arrest and the authorities seized Josh's computer with all these materials. One marshal said the computer's drive was among the top five for worst of the worst that I have ever examined. Josh was granted conditional bail, but things looked grim for his trial. His lawyers tried to delay things with procedural tactics, but the trial went forward in November of 2021. The jury found that Josh was guilty of possessing these questionable materials involving children, and in May of 2022, he was sentenced to over 12 years in prison. Although Josh may get out by 2032, he will remain a sex offender and will still have 20 years of supervised release. 8. Danny Masterson Everything fell apart for the ranch's Danny in March of 2017, when three different women filed allegations of assault against him. This led to a police investigation, and in the meantime, Danny was dropped by Netflix and the United Talent Agency. Things continued to get worse for Danny when one more woman came forward, and she even accused him of forcing himself onto her. Danny denied all the accusations, but things got stranger when a new lawsuit was filed against him for the shocking actions of his church. When the four women had come forward against Danny, there were many people who wanted them to remain silent. Danny was a member of the Church of Scientology, and his church stalked and even harassed the women who had accused Danny. One of the women even claimed that a Scientology church member took pictures of her house, and another claimed that someone broke a window in her house, and it was the window to her 13-year-old daughter's bedroom. All of these suspicious actions led to more legal backlash against Danny. He pleaded not guilty in court during the trial in June of 2021, but the trial would drag on for months and months. Finally, it seemed the court would reach a verdict in November of 2022. Instead, the jury deadlocked and failed to agree after three days of deliberating. The judge has told the jury to continue the week after Thanksgiving, and they will hopefully reach a verdict by then. If convicted, Masterson faces up to 45 years in prison. 7. Shannon Richardson Shannon from The Vampire Diaries was arrested in June of 2013, when allegations surfaced that she was behind a mysterious letter shipped to President Barack Obama. The letter contained ricin, a highly deadly poison that is quite difficult to detect. 
Shannon confessed to sending the letters but claimed that she only did so because her husband coerced her. This excuse didn't fly with the courts and they prepared a hefty sentence for attempting to poison the president, alongside other important personages such as then New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Shannon took a plea deal in the end and got an 18-year prison sentence as a result. 6. Zachary Horvitz Zach was arrested in April of 2021 for charges of wire fraud. The charges related to his company One in MM Productions, which accrued over $600 million in outside investment from numerous media moguls. According to the Department of Justice, Zach secured these investments by making bogus claims that the investor money would be used for getting licensing rights to films Netflix and HBO had agreed to distribute. The distribution agreements with HBO and Netflix were totally fabricated, and the investors realized all too late that they had been tricked. Zach was charged with defrauding investors of over $200 million with these false claims, and he pled guilty to one count of securities fraud. Zach was sentenced to two decades of jail time in February of 2022, and he also had to pay back a $230 million fine for restitution to the investors. 5. Will Hayden In August of 2014, the star of the Discovery Channel TV show Sons of Guns, Will Hayden, was arrested, and he faced charges of juvenile molestation, rape, and even crimes against nature. According to the accusers, Will had engaged in non-consensual activity with a minor, and this apparently went on for several years. Will denied all of the accusations, but things got worse for him when his own daughter accused him of the same charges as well. Will pleaded not guilty to all the charges, but the trial did not go very well for him at all. In the end, Will received a guilty verdict that came with two full life sentences. Another full life sentence was added later on. Will is not eligible for any parole and will remain behind bars for the rest of his life. 4. Drew Dreschel Everything fell apart for Drew of the hit TV show American Ninja Warrior in August of 2020, when news broke that he had been arrested for inappropriate offenses against minors. The FBI released more information, claiming that Drew had relations with a minor and induced her to send lewd materials to him. Following these bombshell allegations, American Ninja Warrior announced they would be dropping Drew and they severed all ties with him. The show even went so far as to re-edit old seasons to remove Drew from them. Drew was charged with manufacturing of lewd materials involving children, inappropriate conduct with a minor, and more. While he denied all of the charges categorically, things didn't look very good for Drew. When he tried to seek bail, the court denied his request. Drew will stay in prison for the time being as he awaits his upcoming criminal trial. 3. Joe Exotic Joe, the star of a Netflix documentary called Tiger King, was arrested in September of 2018, about three months after he had left the zoo where he typically worked. According to law enforcement, Joe was arrested because he had attempted to hire hitmen to murder Carol Baskin a prominent animal rights activist and critic of Joe Exotic. Joe's case went to trial in March of 2019, and he faced additional charges for animal cruelty and falsifying wildlife records. While this went on, Joe launched a failed lawsuit against the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, but things remained bleak for Joe in the courts. In the end, Joe received a 22-year prison sentence, but many still wish to see him released. Whether Joe serves his full term or not remains to be seen, but he's still keeping busy and even wrote an autobiography from jail called Tiger King, the official tell-all memoir. 2. Zara Pythian Zara, once a beloved actor and member of the Marvel Universe, was charged with abuse of a teenager in 2022. According to the victim, Zara gave her alcohol while she was still underage, after that, she forced her to perform questionable acts. From then on, Zara and even her husband maltreated the girl regularly. These acts would come out many years later and lead to a serious criminal trial against Zara and Mark. Zara was charged with 14 counts of inappropriate activities with a minor, and her husband Mark was charged with indecent assault of a minor as well.
In the end, Mark received a verdict of 14 years prison time. Zara, however, got eight years instead. One reason for this is that the judge suspected Zara was not the mastermind behind these horrible actions, but followed Mark's lead. The judge said in the trial that Mark was the driving force behind this abuse, and the verdict reflected that position. Since being put away, Zara has become a prison cleaner and hopes to get out of jail earlier with good behavior. 1. Jared Fogel Jared Fogel came onto the acting scene with a stunning story. According to Jared, he was able to lose almost 250 pounds of weight by eating from Subway. After local subways spread the story around, the national company decided to run ads about Jared's incredible story. Before long, he was the face of Subway, and he even had a South Park episode dedicated to him. As a result of his newfound fame, Jared landed cameo spots in Sharknado 2, the second one, and he was even invited to the 2009 WWE. Jared's fame would turn into infamy, however, and it would all begin with a terrible secret coming out. In 2007, a radio host called Rochelle Walrond claimed that Jared had made suggestive comments about girls who were still in middle school. Rochelle suspected that Jared was hiding something and decided to record her conversations with Jared and save their text messages. Rochelle sent all of this to the FBI, and they told Rochelle to befriend Jared and gather more information. Over the next four years, Rochelle would gain Jared's trust and learn the terrible truth behind his subway persona. Through Rochelle, the FBI learned that Jared was likely engaged in predatory behavior. He made comments about having relations with underage girls. Unfortunately, all of this wasn't enough to make an arrest, and the police couldn't do anything until Jared was implicated in an actual crime. Luckily for them, that would happen only a few months later. In 2015, the FBI caught and arrested Russell Taylor and found massive amounts of lewd material involving children on his computer. Luckily for the FBI, Russell had communicated with Jared and even sent some of these materials to him. And with this, the police had enough evidence to make an arrest. In July of 2015, they raided Jared's home and arrested him for charges related to these lewd materials. Subway immediately announced they would drop Jared from all advertisements, and he lost his role in an upcoming Sharknado film. Jared faced as many as 50 years if he were to lose in a court trial, and instead, he chose to take a plea deal. Jared received a 15-year prison sentence and will be eligible for release after serving at least 13 years. Click here to see eight actresses who have done or are doing major prison time and the reasons why. See you there.